with your own scooters and stuff? Well, I went through the build process. I changed a 50cc to a 70cc to try to get more power. Uh, the main adv- uh, advantage of going with a 70cc is that, yes, you can get more power, but technically you're breaking the law because with a 70cc kit, it has to be registered as as a larger cc, and therefore you need a class six. And there's a downfall to doing that performance upgrade. So if that technology is there to make the 50cc burn cleaner, run more power. Looks good. Hi, I'm Robert. I'm Mark. Good Hi, to Mark. Meet you. What do you think of uh, the two strokes? I like the two strokes. They're easy to ride. No maintenance, as m- most people think there is. Uh, sure. I, I like them. So the question was more relating now uh, about the two-stroke and whether it be still in existence a few years. There's a lot more cleaner technology, so I would imagine, again, that we'll see a resurgence as people find ways to improve the technology so it's a cleaner running engine. You know, rather, I mean, to the degree that you know some people complain, just like uh, diesels have become clean. You know, yeah. Volkswagen's got a very good, clean diesel now in one of their vehicles and uh, it's environmentally friendly. I'm sure the same technology could be applied and the simplicity of the motor makes it more practical sometimes for many people than the complexity of, say, a four-stroke four engine and, and what it requires. I don't have a familiar number. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this was, you know, your first choice, this one would have been a better first choice when you were saying, but I'm out of here. Yeah, we are too, actually. Yeah. Yeah. put all the lesson stuff in there. That is cool. I want to get a, a sidecar for mine. Yeah. Heat, uh, some of them are heated, I think. This is, it looks like it's got the uh, electric. Yeah. Yeah. For the sidecar. Like in my condo, I parked my car here in my scooter in the sun, right? Yeah. I have no place to it. it up one, too. And, and pretty well, the sidecar, you just don't take it on and off at whim. Oh, yeah. Have you ever driven one? one? No. Hack? Oh, they're brutal. You put it on. Absolutely, so, but I'm bad with names. Hell. Hell. I got the primer that's all custom. Uh, Larry Cooks. Oh, it's brutal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One way up from the other. Look, they said, "Oh, there's the race and You know, they're both yeah. The pipe has got the. Got transportation appeals to an awful lot of people so when gas prices hit a dollar and a half last year sales of motor scooters soared but scooters can be slow smelly and dirty at least they were before the gadgeteers got their hands on them where we live motor scooters are great they're cheap to buy even cheaper to run you don't need a special license or experience. But they're also slow, underpowered, and usually followed by a cloud of blue exhaust fumes. 
clearly there is room for improvement here. I've had uh, 60 odd motorcycles and uh, 100 cars, so I'm a, I'm a transport guy. And he's a member of the Vancouver Gadgeteers Inventors Club, <laughs> making James Woodman the perfect guy to hot rod a motor scooter. And this is the substance he will be using. We've got uh, 3 amps and 10 volts about going through this cell. This is called brute force electrolysis. By passing an electrical current through the body of water, James is producing oxygen and water's other ingredient, hydrogen. You may remember hydrogen from such historical disasters as the Hindenburg explosion. Oh, the humanity. That's the stuff James is extracting from water to use on his scooter. Small motors, it, it works great. You get uh, quite a bit of uh, energy from it, and it, in the two-stroke case, it does clean up the particulate matter by having a cleaner burn. James has calculated that by introducing about 8% hydrogen to the fuel-air mixture, he can get an extra one horsepower out of his bike. One horsepower doesn't sound like a lot until you... Until you have only four in your bike and get an extra one for $200, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a great deal. Theory is one thing, the real world is something else. James has nominated his girlfriend Sarah as test pilot. After all, it is her scooter. More power, the better. You can see why these two get along. First of all, a baseline to see what the scooter can do with the hydrogen system turned off. Nine point five seven. And now with the secret weapon engaged. Eight point eight. It took off way faster and smoother, and I could feel the speed build up. And there was a lot was less good. smoke coming out of the yeah. tailpipe. Yeah. More power with less pollution. The very definition of win-win. David Kincaid, CTV News, Vancouver. So that's it. That's uh, David Kincaid and uh, Gary at, uh, from CTV and um, Vancouver Guide Tears. Uh, over and out. I'm Getting back on my electric scooter now. See you later.